Little girl who was smuggled into Houston is on the mend after she was left behind at the scene of a serious crash. The big mystery tonight, though, tracking down that child's family. Good evening. I'm Bill Baessa. And I'm Sarah Donchi. And this is a picture from the scene of that crash. Tonight, we are learning that an arrest has been made in this case. Channel 2's Andy Sirota is live tonight. And Andy, investigators have been able to track down the person who they believe was driving with this little girl. Sarah, they have 30 year old Tedercio Rivera is behind bars in the Austin County Jail tonight. He's charged with smuggling, among other things. Police say on Saturday morning, Rivera was heading east on I 10 when he rear ended the vehicle in front of him. That sparked the chain of events that eventually landed him behind bars. Initially, police say Rivera told them the little girl was his wife's daughter, but then they say he admitted he had no idea who she was. Her name is Adriana. She's four years old, but Sealy police say they have no idea who she is or where she's from. The toddler was seriously hurt in a bad car wreck along I-10 near Columbus Saturday morning. Police say 30-year-old Tedercio Rivera was behind the wheel of the white Chevy Impala and in the process of smuggling the little girl to Houston when the accident happened. They say Rivera ran away from the scene of the crash, was picked up a short time later, and brought back to the site so police could question him. He stated that, no, he doesn't know who the girl is. He was paid uh, $200 to transport her from uh, San Antonio to Houston at a Fiesta store off of 45, somewhere in either the spring or the Aldine area. Adriana's injuries were so bad, she had to be taken by life flight to Memorial Hermann Hospital. Police say she had a skull fracture and severe lacerations on her arm. Investigators say Rivera was also hurt in the crash and was in no condition to give them any additional details. They arrested Rivera after he was taken to the hospital and released. If the parents were in Mexico, we're not sure where the child was going. Uh, even if he took her to the Fiesta, who was he dropping the child off with? We just don't know. Rivera remains behind bars tonight, and police say he isn't doing much talking, so they have since handed the case over to Children's Protective Services. Ahead at 6 o'clock, what that agency is saying about the little girl and who else is now getting involved. For now, we're live in Sealy, Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you.